Hello and welcome to Queer Cuisine's fourth video. My name is Max and I will show you today three simple and quick ways to make your tofu dishes super flavorful. All right, let's go. This video is all about tofu and let's call it a tofu three-way. Oh, get the naughty thoughts out of your heads. It's not gonna be me, Idan and a block of tofu. We're just talking tofu today. Oh, and the best no. part of it is, it only needs a few cheap ingredients that are easy to get in the supermarket. So what is tofu? Tofu is a 100% plant-based ingredient. It's made from condensed soy milk and is pressed in solid white blocks. Tofu is high in protein and contains all the essential amino acids that your body needs. It's really low in calories and considered a nutrient-dense food. There's different types of tofu and I brought a few examples to show you today. First, we have firm tofu. That's the type that you can get in most supermarkets nowadays. Then there is semi-firm tofu, which is a little bit different in texture compared to the firm tofu. And we also have silken tofu. Silken tofu has a pudding-like texture and you can use it to make smoothies or shakes or in cheesecake or in our Saiten recipe, which you can have a look at after you watch this video. And there's also different types of flavored tofu. One of my favorites is smoked tofu. That stuff is great on a sandwich, for example. And what I also really, really like is tofu with basil inside. If you put that into your tomato sauce, you get a really protein rich and tasty dish. The first version today is going to be some sesame roasted caramelized tofu strips. For this, we simply need some of the semi-firm tofu, sesame seeds, agave syrup, and soy sauce. At first, we heat up some coconut oil in a non-sticky frying pan. We're gonna fry the tofu for one to two minutes per side. Once our tofu got this beautiful golden color and it's a little bit crispy, we add the sesame seeds and roast them for two minutes. You wanna pop a lid on top, as they might wanna jump out of your frying pan. Add the agave syrup and make sure all tofu gets some of it and then add soy sauce to the frying pan. Move it around a bit and you'll see the liquid evaporate quickly. And that's it! The first round of tofu is done! You can have that on top of a salad, in a stir fry with veggies or just as it is. And the next one is one of my favorites. The second way of our three way is some crunchy tofu with an almond polenta crust. Sounds fancy and complicated, but it's as simple as the first one. For this recipe, we need some firm tofu that we cut in about a centimeter thick squares. Some chopped almond flakes, some polenta, breadcrumbs, a tiny bit of flour, soy sauce, and some onion and garlic powder. First, we mix the chopped almond flakes with the polenta and breadcrumbs on a plate. On another plate, we mix the flour with the onion and garlic powder and add some soy sauce and a little bit of water. Take your tofu pieces and brush them with the flour soy sauce and then coat them with the almond polenta mixed generously from all sides. As a little tip, you might want to do this with all pieces before you put them in the frying pan. Otherwise, you'll risk that the first pieces might get burned. Heat up a good amount of oil in a frying pan and make sure the oil is hot before you place the tofu pieces inside. Take a tiny piece of the crumbs and put it in the oil to make the temperature check. Once it shows little bubbles, it is hot enough. Fry the tofu until golden and crispy for around about 3 to 4 minutes from each side. Et voilà! Round number 2 is done! Quick Cuisine is a community project. Besides giving you inspiration for food, we'll talk about self-care and self-love. And you'll be now in good hands with Idan. Hey everyone, Idan here with The Message. So it's pride season and today I want to approach the topic of self-love and care from a different angle. The importance of pride. And what better place to talk about that than the bedroom. It's 2020, we're in Berlin, Germany, queer capital of the solar system. And every year around Pride Month, I hear the question, why do we still need pride? Maybe you've heard this too. Now I think that the question why we still need pride is not Quite the right question. After all, no one's asking why we still need Oktoberfest or Valentine's Day 
or Christmas. Leave Christmas alone! Leave Christmas out of it! Some better questions would be where are we in terms of social progress? What needs to change? Which communities still need support and to be uplifted? Pride matters because LGBTIQ phobia is still a thing. Queer people still face discrimination and ostracizing legislation. For example, Poland instated LGBT free zones. Hungary just made legal gender recognition practically impossible. The US law now discriminates against LGBT people in healthcare which shows us that progress can always be revoked. In Germany, reports about violence against LGBT people have doubled since 2013. J.K. Rowling started promoting turf ideology, while trans women worldwide, especially black and trans women of color, continue being murdered. Pride is about solidarity with queer communities everywhere. Cis allies in solidarity with trans people, white people in solidarity with people of color. Pride stands for visibility, empowerment, celebration of diversity, and there will always be a need for that. It's also a great occasion to stay in dialogue about in-group issues like consent and gender diversity, community racism, ways of treating each other, evolving forms of relationships, drug use, rainbow families. It's a time to pause and think about our past, present and future. What is our history as queer people? What issues reflect where we're at currently? And where are we heading as a community? Now Max and I, as your Queer Cuisine Queers, have been asked a few times online why does everything today needs to be queer? Why does everything have to be queer? Why can't you just do a vlog about food like normal people? Well, first of all, let's take a grounding breath. Now, Max and I, we see food, cooking, eating, and the kitchen space in their social, political context, connected to culture, people, power structures in the world. Appearing on YouTube as a queer couple is already a very strong political act. Go ahead and look for YouTube versus LGBT content lawsuit. Queerness is also subversion and our videos aim at challenging some of the ways we think about food. Being vegan, if you think about it, is kind of queer. It's in that sense that our food and recipes are queer and political. We're interested in nourishing our community and supporting its growth. If you watched our other episodes, then you may remember that Queer Cuisine is an empowerment channel and a fundraiser for trans and queer projects. And at the moment, we're fundraising for a trans-inclusive children's book. Check it out on our website. We've already reached 10% of our fundraiser goal, and this is the time to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all the people who've donated. Three ways of helping us make a change are by donating to our fundraiser, subscribing to our channel, and sharing our videos. Queer Cuisine wishes you a happy pride. And now let's see where the Tofu three-way takes us. Ooh, yummy. We're back in the kitchen and I've prepared the ingredients for the third round of tofu. So the last round of our three-way is gonna be a tofu scramble. You can basically do it just with the tofu, but I do like some veggies in my scramble. So this is what we're gonna do now. We just need some semi-firm tofu, a small onion, half a red bell pepper, some turmeric powder, salt and pepper, and that's it. Cut the veggies into small pieces and fry them for two to three minutes in a non-sticky frying pan. Add the tofu by squeezing it into small pieces with your hands. Fry that mix for another two minutes and keep stirring. At the end, we add the spices, and here we go. Five minutes homemade tofu scramble. Super easy. Preparing high protein and nutrient rich tofu dishes doesn't take much time, neither big cooking skills or fancy ingredients. Please subscribe to our channel to not miss out on future recipes. Don't forget to click the little bell to get a notification when we upload a new video and check out our Instagram and Facebook. But most importantly, please have a look at our website. We're currently fundraising for a trans empowering children's book and you'll find more information about that online. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon on Queer Cuisine, community cooking for a good cause.
Queer Cuisine wishes you happy pride. Queer Cuisine wishes you happy pride. Queer Cuisine wishes you happy pride. Queer Cuisine wishes you a happy pride. Queer Cuisine wishes you 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 a happy pride.